One of the most important things in Elementor container is flex wrap and flex no wrap. If you understand it properly, you can create a complex layout very easily without taking a lot of parent containers. Hey, my name is Jim Fahad. I'm a professional web developer. Instead of theory, I want to give you practical examples. So first of all, let's click on this plus icon and here I'm taking this single container. Make sure you have selected the row directed container. Now first within this container, I want to take some element. So first of all, here I'm dragging an image widget. Let's now select an image, insert it. Okay, first let's give it a height from style tab. So I'm giving it in pixel. Let's give it 200 pixel. Now have a look. If we just duplicate this image, let's duplicate it a couple more times so you can understand it properly. Okay, now within this main container, we have five elements. So these are basically five images, one, two, three, four, five. And now if we duplicate it more, so let's duplicate it. I'm duplicating it again and again. Now have a look, no matter how many times we have duplicated this image widget, all of them are now adjusted within this container. I mean within this single row. Why is that? Because if we now select this container, go to its items, you see the wrap is select to no wrap because this is the default value. If I check the no wrap option, you see nothing is changing. That's because the no wrap is the default wrap value. But now instead of no wrap, if I set the wrap value to wrap, now the inner elements are not trying to adjusting within the single row. You see they are split into two rows. So basically when we set the wrap to no wrap, the inner elements are trying to be adjusted within the container without maintaining their own width. You remember we have set each image's width to 200 pixel, but now they are not maintaining their own width. Rather, if we select the wrap value to wrap, now all the inner elements are wrapped within the container maintaining their own width, that's 200 pixel. And all together you can also adjust their alignment. So from here, I'm setting the justify content to centered. Now let me give you a more realistic example. Even if you want to create a simple layout like this, you should know how to make the layout with much less effort. Okay, so here, first of all, I'm deleting the existing container. This time click on this plus icon and here I'm taking this two container structure. And here, let's now duplicate one of the container. So basically we have now three containers within the main container. So here the first container, let's select this one. My goal is to make it with 100% and keep it at the top of these two containers. So for that reason, I'm making it with to 100%, but you see it's not working. Because if we have a look on the parent container, the main container, this one, and go to its items, you see the wrap is selected to no wrap, but now I wanna set it as a wrap. So if we now have a look on the first container here, it's now getting its whole 100% width here. So now within the first container, let's drag a heading widget here. I just wanted to say about me. And you know, we can set the alignment from here. Also, if we select the container, go to its items and we can set the align items to centered. All right, and I also want to add some space at the top and bottom of the main container. So let's select the main container, go under advanced tab, unbind the padding. Only top and bottom, I'm adding 80 pixel of padding. All right, let's now start with the bottom left container. Let's select it. First of all, I want to add some spacing. So from here, I'm adding just 40 pixel of padding all around of the container. And here inside, I'm dragging an image widget here. Let's select the image. I'm selecting this one, insert it. I'm making the alignment to right aligned and here I'm making its width in pixel. That's 180 pixel or 280 pixel. Okay, same with the right container. Here first I'm adding 40 pixel of padding with it. And on the right side instead of 40, I'm adding 160 pixel of padding. Let's now add some element within the right container to make it look real. So first of all here I'm dragging an heading element. I'm making the HTML tag to H5 and I want it to say quality comes first. Now underneath that here I'm dragging a text editor widget here. And right after that from here I'm adding the button widget here. 
and if you notice we can see the spaces in between the elements are huge so to fix it just select this container go under its layout and open the items from here i'm making the elements gap to zero and i want to make it vertically aligned so from here i'm making the justify content to center okay so how is it all related to wrap and no wrap because if we now select the main container this one go to its layout tab and open the items you remember we have set the wrap to wrap but instead of that if we set it to no wrap now this container is not getting its actual width that's 100 percent that's why make sure you have selected the main container that wraps everything here go to its item and set its wrap to wrap so basically that's why this little understanding of wrap and no wrap is very important when you are making any layout. And I know there are 10 different ways to make this same layout but my goal was to make you clear about the flex wrap and no wrap. I hope you have learned something new today. If you like it please give this video a big thumb up and don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Also press on that notification bell icon to get notified before anyone whenever I will upload a new video on this YouTube channel. And if you want me to help you on your WordPress project or Elementor project then you can contact me through my website that's jimfahaddigital.com. I will try my best to help you personally. Once again thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I will see you in the next video. For now bye bye.